Hello, heroes. It's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day. We'll feed your mind. Let me get this thing right. Uh, your body and, and your future. Right, so today it's Thursday, Park City, Utah. Let's just try to get this right. Stay. Park City, Utah, which is great. It's one of my favorite places to be at. Um, today we're going to do a Facebook Live on make a decision and protect the decision. Very important stuff right there. So um, all you have to do is, you know, there's Dean Peters, good to see you buddy. So if you're watching this, just say hello and uh, make sure you uh, just say hello, of course, and thumbs up, share it as well. So today we're gonna be talking about, what's up Joe, Joe Utash? Uh, let's make a, uh, about making a decision and the protecting the decision. There's the, there's the, the what we call there's the fear the, there's the fears and the fogs right so fears and the fogs are this here's where you are right with the majority of people right in 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 the world like they're living their life and then they have that calling they have that message there's just something more and the reason why we don't leap it's really not a leap but the reason why we don't cross over because there's fears and there's fogs you know they get in the way how am I going to do this yeah but I'm rooted here right you know so a fear could be why well, I'm rooted here I lived here for 30 years of my life, or I don't know how to do this technology, or I'm scared. You know what all those things are, all the things, and it's not excuses because you're a weak person, but it's all the things that prevent us from moving forward into having a life. You know, we all want to pull the sword out of the rock like King Arthur, right? But we don't get to that point. You have to go through the leap, right? You have to go through the fears and the fogs. You don't, you don't get to wear the, uh, the silver slipper, you know, you got to go through the fears and the fogs and then the unknowns, right? So you get scared a little bit, right? We don't know what to expect, right? There's the, we call it the unknowns. The, uh, the, the greatest known is the unknown, but in the unknowns, looking, see, looking back on your life, you can see, oh, wow, my whole life was unknowns, right? Just the fact that I'm sitting here in Park City, there was so, so many unknowns that got me here. Like, like, we got to Utah like five years ago because there was like a conference, someone we knew, and it's just, it's ridiculous. It's never planned, right? Because your brain only knows what it could lose. Your brain doesn't know what it could gain. So everything keeps you on this side, right? Here's, and even Napoleon Hill says about 98, closer to 100% of the people stay here and they don't try to move to really their promised land where they're created to be. And then I really noticed that, um, no matter what, it's going to finally come down to a decision. And what I mean by a decision is if there's stress, right, you feel the stress, and then, but when you make a decision, the stress goes away. And usually when the stress goes away, there comes excitement. There comes, holy cow, we're doing this, right? You know, all that excitement and energy comes right because you made the decision. But when you make a decision, especially when it's something that's close to your heart or your message, remember your message is your hero. Um, you got to protect that decision, right? So the people, you know, be careful who you talk to about that because, you know, most of the people, 98 to 100% stay over here and the real heroes, so any hero you think about or anybody you admire, they all made that leap, they made that decision. And so when you do make the decision, you protect it, right? You don't ask other people's opinions because it's your decision, right? It's you, it's selfishly yours. It's not uh, because when you say, hey, do you think I should do that? And in fact... The question you ask pretty much tells you what decision you should make. For instance, if you're in a relationship, do you think I should leave that person? Well, yeah, when you're asking people, do you think I should leave that person? You just want someone to tell you, yeah, leave that person. Versus, do you think I should stay with that person, right? So you're saying kind of the same thing, but different. So when you start asking people's opinions, you're just trying to get everybody to agree with the, the decision you want to make anyway. So that's why you protect it. But what I also found out that until you make the decision, not understanding what's on the other side of that decision, then life will not bring you the other components to complete uh, the uh, to, to be able to complete or make that decision come to its uh, fruition. For example, like. When you make that decision, even though you don't know what's on the other side, once that decision is made, all of a sudden, those unknowns really start to rise up. 
those people start to come into your life. Situations start to manifest. Not in a secretly like voodoo type of way. It's like, it was almost like, cause you had the faith to make the decision and say, listen, we may, then all of a sudden, then the doors open up. A lot of times we wait for the doors to open up to then make the decision, right? Cause we like options, right? I, it's so nice to say, oh, option one, option two, hmm, I'm in control of this. I think I'll pick option two because we could weigh him out, right? Because we always like to have that control. But sometimes, always with the bigger things, you have to choose the door not knowing what's on the other side of it. And when you choose the door, then all the little things start to open up because you made that decision. So it's kind of like you go for it. And then uh, as, as you're moving forward, the unknowns start to show themselves. So you make big decisions, the bigger decision you make, the bigger the stuff's gonna happen. So either life's gonna show you, it's gonna go the way you want it to, or it's always gonna be something unique and different, but that's why I'm, I'm really stressing that when you do make that decision, please protect it. I mean that like with Whitney, if I make a decision, if we make a decision, we keep it with ourselves. Some things we won't even tell our parents until it's done, right? Because I, we don't want any Thing to swerve or steer our heart, what our heart's telling us to do. When you make a decision, it doesn't have to be rational, right? It doesn't have to be logical. But if it gives you energy, joy, and happiness, that's probably a good overstress. That's probably a good direction to go in. And then you do it. And then when you do it, all of a sudden, all you need now is time, and time's gonna decide the rest. So whatever that decision is, all of a sudden, then you start look right. You start looking around, and these doors start to open. Relationships start to be made. People come into your life, and you just hop on the the wild ride that you don't know where it's going to end. But you always know it's going to always end, and always become something even greater than you could imagine. So the good, the bad, whatever it takes, make that decision. So it really is part of the equation. If you're waiting for the options, if you're waiting for all the things to line up and say, okay, like the Benjamin Franklin method. I don't know if you guys know that. Well, Ben Franklin, supposedly, he would put all the pros, he would put all the cons, and that's how we'd make a decision. But sometimes with the really big things in life, you know, you don't make, it's not about the pros and the cons. You make the decision, you jump, you go, and then you lay the payment as you do it, and you protect it. But a lot too many times we say, yeah, but, or what if, you just gotta go forward and enjoy the excitement of it. Because your brain, again, your brain knows what it could lose, but man, your spirit knows what it could gain. So the time, the work, and the money you invest in yourself, the amount you do, and the amount of risk you take, it shows you the amount of confidence you have in your message, in your dream, and in yourself. You know, So you go small, it's still good. You go big, it's really big. So to get those benefits, depending on how big your message is, or what you want to do, or, or the new life you want to start, all depends on how, how much you're willing to put, to, to put into the center of the table. You know, Jim Rohn said it's great. He goes, human beings, we've been given the uh, convenience, he said, of free will. Meaning that, you know, a duck or a goose, they have to fly south every winter. Every winter. Like, that's just what they do, right? They don't, they can't change the course. They don't, they just, that's what they do. That's just in their instincts, they go. Um, they could be flying south and they might have to go through a blizzard and they die, right? But their course is already predetermined. Every, every winter for south, they fly south. But the great thing about the human being and the gift of free will is that we're the only ones that as soon as you watch this 15 minute fuel and you turn off your phone or whatever you're watching this, you could, you could literally tear up the script of your life and start over. How cool is that? That's the gift of free will. That's the gift of uh, being able to say, you know what? Even though life was great, wonderful, and everything, I could start over and start fresh. Like there's no, there's no, uh, like again, you know, there's no rational, irrational logic. You could just do whatever you want. And a lot of times people do that, especially when they're following their heart of what they always want to do, they wind up looking back four or five years and going, wow, this is the greatest decision they ever made. So I don't know who I'm talking to here. Maybe I'm just talking to myself, but you know, make that decision. And when you make the decision, 
When you make that decision, I want you to then protect it until you get some cause in it, meaning that until you get so until you get momentum in that direction and things are moving, you protect it. Always protect your heart. Don't ask people. Don't ask your mom. Don't ask your parents. Don't ask your best friends unless they're your, really your best friends because you don't need other people's opinions. Because you're going to ask, all you're doing is asking other people questions, and all you're going to really absorb and listen to are the ones that deep down subconsciously you knew the answer to anyway, right? But those questions, all they do is they procrastinate you, right? Well, I'm going to talk to so and so first, and oh, I'm going to talk to so and so first. But in the end of the day, you're going to always, you will always, even on a subconscious level, make the decision that you're always going to make in the first place. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I was a little deep. But really, it is, it is uh, it's super practical. If you're feeling stressed, you gotta make a decision. That's, on, that's, that's the micro of it. But then I realized um, you're, you only get so far without making the decision, right? So you, you can't, not all the options will be in front of you. Sometimes you have to make the leap in one direction, close the door in all the other directions in order to see the options after that. And it's scary. But what else you got to lose, right? I mean, you're going to be dead, right? That's the thing. We work so hard not realizing that we're all going to die. I know this is not inspirational. We're all going to die. All that they, You're saving all this money for your, for your kids. They're going to die. So, I'm not, you know, not like a, tragically, but they'll grow old and die. Um, all of the things you're doing in your life now, like the house that you're living in now, the, the job or the practice you're building, that's gonna fade away. They're gonna probably tear down your house, you know, within a hundred years and build something really cool. So all the things that we're so concerned about, it's all gonna go away. So if you knew that now, I think you'd make different decisions. You take uh, you take more confident confident. I hate the word risk. You would take a more confident investment of time, work, and energy into yourself and into your dreams, knowing that, you know, you know the time you do ha have on this earth instead of being so rooted down into things that'll all go away, you know, what can you do that actually makes an impact and leaves a ma major impact that can't be torn down in the future? Well, I appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys so good. Hey, Tim, I'm just going to say hello to everybody here. Uh, please share, please like, and I will, uh, peace Thursday, I'll probably come out to you guys tomorrow. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you soon. God bless.